Hello, Capricorn. Welcome to your September 2019 tarot forecast with ASMR. Alright, today I will be using my transparent tarot as usual. Just really like the way they translate on the screen. I will also be using for clarifiers this Constellation playing card deck, which I have adapted for divination and the cartoon of C, written meanings and some different correspondences on there. I have some amethyst. Chilling out nearby. I love it. It's purple. It's very beautiful. I used to be the color of my hair. Might do that again sometime. Get it to show you that rainbow? Probably not. There's a really cool refractory spot right here, but I have to catch just the right angle with the lights. So let's find out, Capricorn. What is it that you anticipate? September of 2019. Love. Fortune. This one jumped out last time, and now I'm starting to question whether or not it's actually jumping, or whether it's just doing that because it's the Eight of Wands. So, back in the deck you go, sir. Won't be fooled by that this time. Brevity. The Eight of Wands is a card of swift endings, so just keep that in mind for later. Ooh, yeah, okay, here we go those for sure. First we have the Six of Wands, which is all about victory and success. So that's pretty clearly defined. And we also have 
the Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups, you can see these little children and they've got these beautiful flowers in these cups, which represent emotion. So it's things returning from your past, like maybe when you were a child, and you feel warm, nostalgic feelings about them, maybe. Um, but also, because it's tied to this victory card, maybe it's a situation from your past that you are getting victory over, or that's bringing you victory. Doesn't have to be a win lose situation. It could be a win 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 win. Win 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 win. Hmm. What else do we have here? Oh yeah, jumping again. Which one is this? The Five of Pentacles. So Maybe you le felt left out in the cold about something. Is this it? Yeah, I think this is it. And you decided to leave. And this is the Six of Swords. So now we've got three sixes and there's leaving. Oh, before I shuffle these, I can play with some crystals some more. I like rubbing them together and make a little scratchy noise. So purple. love amethyst they're so like transparent these are really good ones i like those a lot so. these are the court cards we will find out Either this will be your energy this month, or it will be someone else who is involved in this situation. Find it out. Yeah, this guy. The King of Swords. So the King of Swords can use his words very specifically, like scalp, but tries to be, mm, well, he's very cold, he can be very cold, so not always diplomat, but doesn't intentionally hurt with his words per se. Could be a little to the sociopathic side, I guess, but probably not, right? Always want to believe the best about those around us. Maybe in order to leave this situation, you felt like you had to say some harsh truths to some people. And maybe, or maybe someone said some harsh truths to you about this situation and you realized that you needed to find a way to move on. 
what cool stuff's happening now? Cool stuff is gonna happen real soon for you in September, right? So I'm going to pull your major arcana card and then we can clarify a little bit with the other deck. Before I pull this card, I already know what it's going to be. But I went to this place today. It's here in LA and it's called The Last Bookstore. And if you haven't ever been there and you like books a lot, you should go because it is got all these really cool tucked away rooms and surprises and there are artist spaces there and my husband went to sell a bunch of old science fiction novels and he had some old Lord of the Rings boxed sets and some different books that and he managed to get about fifty dollars in all for the books that they wanted and then of course they didn't have room for the ones they didn't so we had to take those back but I ended up picking up this book about trauma called The Body Keeps the Score that I had wanted to purchase um, I'm on Tumblr quite a bit and uh, I know guilty pleasure <laughs> and um, people will often post quotes from this book on Tumblr and it goes into all kinds of trauma PTSD um, abuse uh, trauma combat all kinds of different situations and scenarios and because of my uh, involvement in magical practices which should not be a surprise to you by now um, I wanted to read it more because of the correlation between trauma and generation of energy for magical spells like sacrifices and sex magic could even be correlated in some ways to trauma magic. Um, so I was very interested to read this work and also because my father, who is a Capricorn, He's like Capricorn Aquarius cusp. He uh, was in a combat zone um, during the Iraq conflict that came after 9-11, not the one back in the 90s. Um, and he has been dealing with a lot of PTSD from that. I hope that he won't be upset mention that, but I think that is a very casual appraisal of the situation. I'm not trying to put all of his business out there for everyone to see, but I know a lot of people come to ASMR videos because they deal with trauma, and I think that it's a really good place 
to have frank and open discussions about it. Speaking of trauma, now, as you know, the death card mostly means transformation and change and from the other parts of the reading down here I would say that there definitely has been and I think that what is going on here is a culmination of this transformative change so let's draw some clarifiers oil diffuser going and I put a little frankincense and myrrh in there. Ooh, we almost got a jumper, right? That's what I was feeling. I was like, there's something here. This guy. Okay. Emotional stability. Four of cups. Four of hearts. This is Scorpio. Pluto in Scorpio energy. We also have Veronese's hair. Who is the constellation? So there's a lot of really nebulous associations <laughs> that I like to use with this deck. Oh, but yes, emotional stability, which could be analogous to what this part right here. Absolutely, we got what. Uh, that's not it. I'm not showing you that card. This one? Yeah. Financial partnership. And this is a sextant, which is a nautical navigation tool. So, navigating the murky waters of your financial future. Often comes up for people, and I leave these in because they are uh, like the fool in the major arcana of the tarot. And it, this is also the shield. So there's an implication that you should, in blind faith, be able to leap over the cliff knowing that you will be protected. All right, so very, very good stuff, Capricorn, very good stuff, and I'm very excited for your September. I think it'll be a good one. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you again very